Welcome Sagittarius. Happy New Year to you Sagittarius. This is the year 2021. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Okay, Sagittarius, the year 2021. What does 2021 have to offer you Sagittarian? Uh, um, uh, the Seven of Pentacles uh, and the Nine of Voices. Worries, worries, worries over your business, worries over your job. Um, worries over your um, materialistic stability, a whole lot of worries. Uh, um, so um, in the first six months, you're having some sort of a situation with uh, work or a project or a business uh, um, that is coming up the second half of the year. You're going to be dealing with some sort of a worries, uh, dealing with a um, people in power, um, some sort of a investigation, from the past that you're dealing with um, and you're going to be um, having some sort of a worries over uh, some sort of information that came out um, you're dealing with two men some of you are dealing with a Aquarian Gemini or Libra man um, some of you um, men could be under investigation some of you men could be collaborating some of you men could worry about your business partner Okay, because I see the Ace of Pentacles. So a lot of energy of money is um, the name of the game um, that is going to be transpiring. So I see um, this is coming up for you guys. So um, it's all about a money project, business, work. Um, some of you are, are worried who are dealing with a Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. I see you lawyers are worried for some sort of a problem. I see you lawyers are hoping for some sort of a new financial stability. Um, you men are going to be um, basically okay. Men um, 50 years and older is going to basically be okay. Um, what is crowning your year is that a cycle is over. Um, the energy of the world cosmic in the reverse I issue a problem that some of you Sagittarian was dealing with in the year before coming in this new year is not yet over. Um, the two of inspiration. I see something is still open and it needs to be resolved. So um, uh, you Sagittarians have a tall moment uh, um, in the month of February, um, a collapse of some sort of a, a resolution. Um, it could be a collapse of uh, some of you Sagittarian was opening for a offer from some sort of a legal issue or that sort of a thing, but it collapsed and uh, you're going to be trying to resolve it and uh, trying to um, create some sort of a, a resolution. In your foundation, you are dealing with some sort of a burdensome situation from the past. Some sort of information is going to be coming in where there is some sort of a burdensome situation from the past, a financial institution, organization, the wheel of fortune and the four of pentacles in reverse is in your um, basis. So the the, um, the first six months, the wheel of fortune, um, some sort of a, um, information could be coming um, to you, Sagittarian, where something from the past is returning in the future that you need to resolve. As you look at the second half, uh, in your foundation, you're having some sort of an instability with your financial situation, and it could be affecting men. Um, and uh, some of you men could be um, some sort of a payoff it could be returning to you in order to balance out your financial stability. So I see businessmen, um, you could be trying to resolve some sort of a um, issues, problem, situation that was going on. And it's now realizing, um, realizing the power of uh, how you can resolve a whole law of uh, um, situation that is transparent. So some sort of a um, creative idea is going to be coming out. I see that some of you men uh, are going to be waiting for some sort of an offering in the month of November, some sort of a contract business offering. In the month of November, it's going to be coming in. So, so, so. All right. So let's look at the months that you need to look out for. 
Um, oh, you're going to be dealing with a lot of you are dealing with some sort of issues that is not going that is not going to be resolved in, in this year. So it could be legal issues. It could be problem with legalities and that sort of a thing for you. Sagittarius is not going to be ending in this year. Um, I see you have to, uh, there's another year to go before the situation is resolved. Um, Wheel of Fortune. So you have a major arcana. Okay. So your best, best month Sagittarian is going to be June. That is going to be your best, best month. Uh, June and November. All right. So let's look at uh, the power play. So in February, unexpected um, tower moment is coming down. And it is as if you, a Sagittarian, it's going to be throwing you out of walk. So whatever is transpiring in February, Sagittarian, come back and look at the extended of the reading, is going to be throwing you out of walk. So be aware of this. It's a fire energy, but it's kind of throwing you out of walk because um, go and check out your quarter readings. But February is going to play some sort of a significant role with a project or a business for you, Sagittarian. Next major arcana is in April. Some sort of a problem comes up in April that is not going to be resolved in this year. It, it, it is going to be taking another year to be resolved. Okay. So this is a long, uh, a long lasting conflict that is, uh, um, still coming up for you, Sagittarian, in this year. Best month, as I said, is the month of June. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune, that's where your luck lies in the month of June, Sagittarian. For all of you, Sagittarian. Another big major arcana, no more. So um, the month, February, April, and June. June is going to be your best month. Um, these are months that is significant, and you need to take... Uh, precautions in this month but june is going to be powerful for you guys especially um june um some sort of uh um money could be returning um to some of you sagittarian so be aware of that okay all righty sagittarian so we look at so what we're starting with and what we're ending with uh, um news and it's as if you Sagittarian men are going to be starting and receiving some sort of a news, okay? Um, you women, a tower moment is coming down on you Sagittarian woman. But, um, um, you know, you will be balanced out in the month of June. All right, so let's take a look and see what is transpiring. The page of voice. The page of voice is here where some sort of information is going to be coming in in January. Whatever this information is and however it's going to be affecting you, um, you have to look at uh, the central of what this uh, um, year is bringing out for you because it's some sort of a news of some sort of a problem, recurring problem is going to be returning for some of you ladies or men. Okay, so be aware of that because the page of voice is about information coming in. That is an air energy. You are fire. And whatever the information is, is going to make some sort of a huge significant change in February. So in the month of February, some sort of an imbalance, unexpectedly imbalanced. This is a fire sign energy, but you're going to be able to balance it out. Whatever is transpiring, whatever this imbalance is that is coming in in February, you will balance it out. Then we look at March, another fire energy, the ten, um, burdens, burdens. So you know, your burdens for some of you could be coming in um, an end um, in the month of March. For some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, it could be beginning. Because remember, you have the moon rising and the sun rising, and it, it depends on what is happening in your birth chart. So it's as if you are um, going through the motion and it's working on uh, some sort of uh, issues that has been happening and that has been transpiring some sort of an issue some sort of a situation um you're still working 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 on the situation and you are realizing and you're seeing and you're understanding what has been happening what has been transpiring how is this uh, um affecting you and how this was uh, created and affecting you in um this first three months so um you have here 
fire and fire. So it's about information, communication. Some of you could be communicating very clearly in order to end some sort of a problem, some sort of a situation, some sort of a um, a communication is going to be either you giving this communication um, in uh, or some sort of a communication is going to be coming in in this quarter. But whatever the communication is, is that some of you are, are communicating and kind of ending some sort of a situation because it's as if you have had enough. But um, you're going to be realizing that this um, this has not ended. It has uh, just beginning, and you know it is it is going to be. Uh, um, affecting you this old year is not something that is going to be resolved uh, with the snap of a risk okay let's move to the th the second period we have uh, the energy of the world in reverse um some so some of you could be having some sort of a um problems with your project your business but i see that that is going to be balanced off in the month of june so um some sort of a hurt energy so you're having hurt so it's as if you're balancing out you're dealing with work business um some sort of a situation in the month of april is coming back to affect um you um Aries. so remember the month of april is always tax time so some sort of a problem you will you sagittarian have is going to be coming back in april to eat you again um, in May, some sort of a work or project, some sort of a new project. Some of you could be waiting for work, hoping for a new project, hoping for a new job to come in um, in the month of May. And it could happen in May. June is going to be absolutely fabulous. June is going to be your best and uh, best, best month of this year. June. So in the first um, half year, June is going to be absolutely fabulous. Um, uh, February, March, April, it's, 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 it's a um, run and go. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a like a little run and go. So you have to be aware of what is happening and it's transparent. The Wheel of Fortune is here. It's absolutely fabulous. It's absolutely good. Um, so June is going to be absolutely fabulous. People are going to be finding out. People are going to be understanding. People are going to be giving you this wonderful new start that is going to be coming up for you. Then we're looking at the next half of the year and in the third quarter, you're dealing with, um, you know, open for some sort of an offer and you're worried um, whether or not the offer is going to be coming in and it has something to do because some of you might be worried that, hey, it is the second half of the year. I haven't received a new job. So, so, so. And this is what I've been um trying to say to some of you go and create for yourself okay so a lot of you are going to be worried about some sort of a job offer whether or not it's coming in how your business is looking what is transpiring with your business how things are affecting you and a lot of worries is going to be coming in when um like for lawyer i professional people a lot of worries a lot of worries is going to be coming in for you guys especially in august uh, august november so I see in the month of um, July, um, a lot of you are waiting, waiting, waiting for um, some sort of an information to come in, um, some sort of an offer to come in. Um, in the month of um, August, it's worries, another worrisome situation. The mind, you're in worries. You're worried about your husband. You're worried about your business. You're worried about your financial situation. You're worried. So... Um, August is coming up as a very, very worrisome month for a lot of you. Then we are looking at uh, September. September, some sort of a um, rebalancing of your financial situation is going to be happening and transpiring. And this is going to be good because I see a lot of you are going to be happily um, balancing out yourself, balancing out things, balancing out issues that was creating balancing out your financial stability and this is going to be good because this is going to be driving you and giving you a driven point that is going to be helping you to formalize some sort of a positive issues positive problems positive situation that is going to be bringing forth wonderful alignment of energy so this is going to be really wonderful and really good so um four of pentacles is as if 
your some money is going to be returned to you so if you lend out some money or money was stolen from you it's going to be returned to you so that was it for the third quartal it's a, a quartal that is sent over worries about your materialistic stability about money this is happening let's move on and look at the last three months of the year 2021 we have here we have earth and we have um you men so a lot of you in the month of october is dealing with uh, um well you know dealing with a situation where a lot of you are waiting for some sort of an offer um from a aquarian gemini or libra person whoever this person is whatever is happening you're waiting for some sort of an offer from this person to come in and you're hoping for this offer to come in so i see um october is going to be dealing with uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, it could be some sort of an investigation, some sort of a situation that is happening and transpiring. Shoot is coming out. People are finding out information um, that was kept. And now everything is like coming out. And a lot of you, if you're married to an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra, um, and worries. There is a lot of worries if you are in a marriage or a relationship with a Gemini. Or there could be um, you lawyers or eye professional doctors or that sort of a thing could be having some sort of issues where a lawsuit could be coming up in the month of October. Okay. Then we're moving to November. The, the other second best month of the year is uh, November. This is powerful. This is good. Positive alignment of energy. Um, November money is going to be coming in. Um, the money worries could be over or it could be returning for some of you in November. So be aware of this. Um, but November, I see the ace of material. Um, so a new start could be coming in for you and your husband or your partner that was going through some sort of an issue in November. But in November, financial stability is going to be returning and this is going to be good. So it's as if this year is going to be waving, but, uh, um, you know, it's not as if you're going to be out of money or anything. So be aware of this. So then we are seeing the mouse, the inspiration and the energy of the mouse and inspiration. And however, this is coming up and is transpiring, you men or you're ending this year with <laughs> on some sort of a good note for you men. So men is going to be ending the year on a good note because some sort of uh, issues, problems, situation that was happening and transpiring, you're going to be pushing yourself out of, um, ahead as you leave this, uh, especially when you come in the month of December with your birthday month. I see you guys are going to be taking a lot and, 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 and making sure that you're accumulating a lot of making sure that you're standing and accumulating a whole lot in order to create um, some sort of a balance for yourself. And it's going to be creating a whole lot of uh, stability in your world. And this is going to be good. So you're leaving the year 2021 on a very positive note, you know, even the ups, the ups and down that is going to be in this year, you're really going to be um, receiving balance uh, um, that is going to be coming in. And this is going to be shifting your energy as you move into 2022. So this is, you know, come back each and every month and check it out because uh, um, for the people who are a member and a VIP of the channel, you will receive the extended free. So if you want to check this out, you have to join the channel and use the third. Yeah, use the, the, the third um, subscription and you will get these uh, extended. And you can look at last year to see if uh, um, last year or the year before, because sometimes people are like two years behind. Um, because of the frequency that you're on. So you can go back and look at two years behind and to see what is coming up and how last year affected you, if there was anything that affects you. So go join and uh, use it, the third subscription because that's where um, you will basically um, get the extended of this reading. So congratulations. I'm wishing you a wonderful new year. Please uh, like and share, 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 share this video. I'm saying namaste until next time.